This is Rob Mukai at Acocote Eco Inn in Ixcalac, Mexico. Uh, this is our second fly tying video. The first one was uh, the drum majorette, which we did two years ago. So, doing one every two years, we're right on schedule. Um, this one is for the uh, spawning variant of the Dembo Super Slam Shrimp. This is uh, the original design was by uh, Nick Dembo, who's a fantastic guide up in Mahawal, which is about an hour north of us. Um, but um, I've kind of changed it up a little bit, made it into a spawning variant. Um, and um, we really like it. It's super effective. And uh, in our waters, uh, can definitely catch all the super slam species. So to start off, we're using a size 6, so this is a medium one, size 6 um, Gamakatsu SL 11 3H um, and we're using some tan what is this, 140 denier uh, thread and just to start off we're just gonna cover up the uh, hook shank, get a good base layer on there Then we're going to put on a bead chain, uh, not a bead chain, these are dumbbell eyes. Um, these are 532nd size. Uh, give yourself a little bit of space here. Uh, this is a little bit of a trick for putting on dumbbell eyes, but you can see just put it on at an, at an angle like that and then just wrap it seven or eight times and then you can use your finger to pull it back a little bit and then wrap it seven or eight times in the other direction and it should straighten it out. And then if you do a few wraps across it, oops, and then a few wraps under it, it should lock it in really, really nice and tight and it's very fast to do it that way. So next we advance the thread to the back and first thing we do is we put in some eyes on this the tan version of this I like to use red eyes um, these are homemade they're just um, 20 pound mono uh, with a red glass bead on it and a little bit of UV uh, UV uh, glue on there but what I like to do is I like to just grab it like this I don't know if you can see that and it actually my fingers work so that they're just the right um, length and then just use your pliers to kind of smash the mono down into a little bit of an L shape here so I don't know if you can see that so it look like this and then if you look here basically from the inside of the eyeball to the bend it's about three-eighths of an inch so if you want to measure it um, you can do that but um, basically all we do now is we just wrap these in, kind of pointing down a little bit. Um, one thing about this fly, there's a lot of material in the back, so don't go overboard with your wraps. And straight. There we go. And then just kind of cover them up a little bit. Okay, so the next piece is this is an EP silky fiber in a 3D uh, fluorescent orange and you know you take if you wrap it it's like a toothpick toothpick size um, anyway the important thing is to kind of taper it so when you do this it's got a nice smooth taper to it and it's not looking like it got chopped off and then just put a loose wrap around it and then just kind of pull it tight and you really only need a couple of wraps to hold it in place. And then you cut this off, cut it off at an angle right at the, the eyes, and it'll lay down just like that. That's kind of what we want. Next piece is going to be um, EP Silky Fibers, again 3D tan this time. Um, basically what I like to do with this is I'll kind of give it a 
about a uh, shank length and then fold it over like this and then just cut it and then again this time you want to taper it on both ends and then you want to lay it down so it's kind of over the top of the orange like this and just kind of give it a couple of wraps and then fold it over and then the trick here is make sure that it goes over the sides on both sides so it covers covers the orange and another couple of wraps. We'll hold that again. Next, we've got the silly legs in the fire tip, uh, fluorescent orange. And I take two of these, like this, and make sure you pull them apart. But the, the trick here, what we want kind of is them to be a little tapered as well. So you want them all to be kind of different lengths. And what you do is what I do is I'll put it in front of the, the thread ball and then you stretch it back a little bit. And if you stretch it and tie it down, it'll actually kind of poof it out a little bit, and that's kind of the look we want. And then I just use this uh, hair clip kind of hold them down. The next piece is um, V-rib. Uh, I use a medium. Um, what we do here is we'll actually kind of cut this at an angle so it won't bulk up nearly as much and then just tie it on, on the side here. Okay, now once you got that tied in, we're going to work up the uh, shank of the hook, but um, we don't want to completely cover this orange. So what we want to do is we'll take a do is we take a loose wrap and we'll come up underneath and pull it tight, and then just move it forward a little bit. Again, a loose wrap and pull it tight from underneath. And do one more, and then you're you've kind of held it down. I just throw a half hitch in here. this on here so just hold it. At this point I like to throw in a drop of uh, super glue just right on the tail bit here just to hold everything together. You can throw one on the uh, eyes as well if you want. And then we just kind of roll this V-rib. Oh it is a V-rib medium size that we use. And then just kind of roll it up and then tie it down here. I like to tie it on on both sides. And then one trick here is if you pull it and stretch it a little bit and you cut it, it kind of slips back underneath the thread wraps and then you don't lose it. Um, at this point you can put in um, some crystal flash. You can either do it on the back or in the front. Um, I forgot to put it on the back so I guess we'll put it on the front. Just kind of wrap it in on one side. And then fold it over and wrap it in on the other side. So you got a little bit on each side and then take some EP fibers um, in 3D tan. This is a little thicker, more matchstick size than um, toothpick size. But uh, this one we want a hair longer so we'll go a little bit probably to the eyes there and then again we just fold it over like this and then cut. And again, don't forget to taper the ends. This. 
Now on this, the trick is kind of put it so it's the first part is about the length you know, to the end of the eyes there. And then put a couple of loose wraps and crank it down. Make sure that stays on top. Now fold it over, and this should be longer than the stuff underneath. And then wrap that. Now we just got to clean up the head a little bit. And then we'll do quick finish. Put it down. And then the bit here on the legs, it's easy kind of to do it this way. You can have a good uh, view of what it actually looks like. But you just want just the very orange tips to just be the tips shown. Um, and you want it to be kind of staggered, so each, each one's a little bit different length. And so this is the uh, spawning variant, I guess, of the Dembo Super Slam Shrimp. Now the, the other thing you can do to finish this, this off um, is you can bar the body with, um, I like to use Marigold Sharpie, but uh, apparently that's been discontinued. So um, you can also do it in red, red works well, but um, that's the fly when it's, uh, it's been uh, striped just with the Sharpie. Well, thank you for following along. This is the spawning variant of the Dembo Super Slime Shrimp.